Awake NY unveils their full Jordan brand collection. I'm still not sure where I stand on this. I know the airship has a lot of history when it comes to sneakerheads. I know it was one of the first Jordans. I know it was, uh, it's got synonymous with Michael Jordan because it was the, the shoe that he could wear when the Jordan one, I think was banned from the NBA. I forgot what the real story around it, but there's a real history around the airship. Personally, I think it looks a bit off. It kind of looks like a, like, it kind of looks like a Team Jordan, if that makes any sense to me. I know it, it's, I know it, it's not a Team Jordan, but it kind of has Team Jordan aesthetics to it. Um, so it's not quite a Jordan 1. Um, it's not quite a dunk. It's just kind of in its own little place. It's not quite a Vandal. It's not quite a Terminator. It just occupied its own little space. But to be fair to Awake, they did a really good job on these, right? They've got this amazing white upper crisp white upper you've got this lovely red snake skin collar at the top you've got this gray swoosh with this red border line going around it which kind of makes a, the swoosh really pop really well and what i really love about them is a the toe box i didn't notice this at first right look at the toe box the toe box if i'm not mistaken is like a suede if, if I'm, maybe my eyes are bad but it looks like you've got plain leather on the upper here and then the toe box has this like weird suede and new bucky finish if i'm not mistaken and then it's got this kind of a um on the dot here written on the top as well and then you've also got this stained um yellow midsole to give it that vintage flavor right so it's something that you kind of plucked out from a box from the 80s so i quite like the finish again maybe i'm wrong here that could be incorrect but i think that toe box area is suede so you've got this nice suede type of area when you wear that that in and you get some scuffs on it and shit that'll wear in really nicely and it'll contrast really well with the crisp um plain white leather upper on the main majority of the shoe and then you've also got this nice nylon tongue here foam tongue with some flat laces as well so i quite look like them I like, I'm, like i said i'm not the biggest fan of um you know nike air ships in general but i quite like those um i don't like the jacket the jacket i'm probably not the biggest fan of um personally for me the varsity jacket i can probably miss out on the t-shirt is hard i really like that t-shirt featuring the awake logo with the jordan brand motif on the inside the varsity jacket isn't for me though it just looks a little bit too american if that makes any sense the varsity jacket looks too american for me the hoodie is really cool um i quite like the shorts the shorts here look really nice i'd wear the fuck out of those shorts you've got the snaky swoosh here you've got this cement type print on the on here you got the, obviously the Awake logo with the Jordan Jumpman logo as well. I'm not too sure if that hat is included there, but it looks pretty cool. Um, oh, there's also earrings. Look at that. I wonder if the earrings come with the clothing. There's also these crazy hoop earrings um, that feature the Awake logo and the Jordan brand as well. They look pretty cool. Um, then you've also got this trench coat. The trench coat kind of reminds me of Raph Simmons. Raph Simmons um, trench coat, the legendary one with all the kind of stripes and badges. Like, it kind of reminds you of that. So you've got a logo, you've got a design here of, of Jordan Duncan, and then you've got a basketball hoop and a wake here logo branding on a trench coat. Again, a bit strange to have this on a, on a Chesterfield, on an overcoat, but you know, I fuck with it. I'm not going to lie. You've got a pull of a hoodie with the logo on it as well, which looks really cool. Again, the vest jacket, maybe it's just me. It just looks too American. I couldn't wear this. It looks too American. It's too kind of gaudy for my liking, but I like the hoodie. I definitely wear the fuck out of that hoodie. Um, the shorts I like again, yeah. The back is just there's too much going on here. You got twenty twenty. You got the numbers on the sleeve. You got the snakeskin underneath the underneath the fucking um, what you call it, the armpit. You've got the awake logo here. You got the New York or the jumper man. It's just too much going on there for me. It's just too much stuff going on there for me personally. Oh, the flannel is got is part of it too. Okay, I like that flannel. This bleach flannel is fucking hard. There's a flannel shirt that also features the Awake and Jordan brand logo. And uh, the logo on the back has been done bleached wise. So I'm guessing they just probably covered it um, uh, or then, or maybe just drew it with a bleach gun. I'm not too sure how they actually did that design. But, or maybe it's just screen printed. I'm not too sure. But either way, um, or blasted with some sort of light. I really like that design there. You've also got some jeans. Maybe some jeans are featured there. The t-shirt. What else do they have here? Also, you've got the shoes as well featured there as well. They look pretty cool. Nike Air logo on the end. And obviously the jacket as well featured, which I'm not, I don't really a fan of. Maybe the jacket would have worked better if it was all red. I'm not going to lie. Maybe the jacket should be all red. That might have been really nice. Um, there's also a sweatshirt, um, obviously, style as well. That looks pretty cool. you got the whole sweatsuit. I'd wear this. This is for me. This sweatsuit is for me. you got the pullover hoodie and the sweatpants. I'd wear the fuck out of that, hands down. The flannel shirt is super hard. I love that with all the fucking um, 
tie dye thing going on there as well or the bleached fucking thing going on that looks pretty cool the t-shirt looks great as well and the shorts but yeah i love it i really do like it i'm not gonna lie the shoes i'm kind of i'm kind of turning my opinion on them i wonder if it's gonna be another colorway i think i saw a blue as well i know it's red here but i'm pretty sure i saw a blue colorway as well recently but maybe we'll see that later on down the line um let's check the hypebeast article it says awaken wires officially unveiled his collection with jordan brand centered around the new york um centered around the awaken y and, and jordan brand airship the first collaborative sneaker between the two parties offering a seven piece collab capsule collection the collection is also a love letter to new york city's influence on basketball and street culture it's also somewhat of a full circle moment for both parties as michael jordan was born in the fourth green brooklyn before his family moved to Mexico to wilmington north carolina an under radar piece of mj's history much the same way that airship was a long hidden part of his footwear lineage jordan brown accolade so when did you to come out have we got a release date for it just yet Ba, ba, ba. you got the stuff down there any release date let's see what the what the date is oh okay no date so far we don't oh there we go date's probably here is it date no no date still no fucking date release information for the awake jordan brand airship is forthcoming we'll be sure to update you so we've got all the details we've got the two colorways see we've got the blue as well that blue is fucking lovely i love that blue actually that blue is really nice um either colorway i'd, pro I'd probably be happy to have but that flannel and that sweatsuit is definitely things that i would fucking wear the fuck out of i'm not gonna lie that flannel there and that fucking sweatsuit is super 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 hard so big up fucking awake big up uh, jordan brand as well can't wait to see when he's eventually drop and what i'm curious to see what the price will be because airships aren't jordan ones but will they just price them the same price as jordan ones because they're a collaboration i'm not too sure but they should be cheaper they should be cheaper but i doubt they're going to be cheaper let's see what the price is when they come out let's see what the price is when they come out 